Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Coming off the coattails of the ban and restricted announcement on Monday. Oh my gosh, my modern world is flipped upside down. Let's get into some just set Zendikar Rising Boosters while we talk about it. Because I have so much on my mind. I uh, I was a little worried there. I'm not going to I'm not going to lie or sugarcoat it. Uh, the moment cow time dropped and uh, the whole Tibble turn to, you know, combo strategy started to kick off. Seeing what Oops All Spill Spells was doing. I was mildly concerned that the format that I love, Modern, was strictly a combo format. And me being, uh, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say combo players are bad. But I strive to stay very far and clear from combo strategies i feel it it kind of hurts the not the game but in my in my eyes yes you are smart going with the combo strategy because it is clear on its percentages but in the end this is a game and to me it takes a big aspect of games when it is a tried and true strategy that all you have to do is push button a B, C, and you win? Not fun. So, uh, not to bash on it, because everyone, you know, everyone's seen how powerful the combo decks are and stuff like that. You know, Ad Nauseam, Splinter Twin, you know, stuff like that. Even, like, the Gain Infinite Life Heliod deck. I'm like, that needs to get taken out, too, because it, it's pretty consistent. Collected Company is a great green spell. But, in the end... I I really just I really think combo strategies are I don't want to be rude and say it's for the weak-minded players but you know I always was about you know finding a, a, a strategy or an archetype in the in the game I would always you know build a rough shell and then approve upon based on my meta uh, and, you know, the internet, everybody says internet this, internet that. It did ruin, you know, the vibrant life of, you know, being a, a good deck builder. And me being someone who played in the pre-internet era of Magic, me and my friends would pride ourselves on <laughs> decks that we thought up, we built, that would sweep our whole friend group. Like, nothing feels better than that. Haven't really seen any mythic pulls, but... Getting some pretty good stuff. Set boosters were never, uh, I don't know, never a, a big fan of it. Why are you going to take cards away and give also add, like, people don't see this a lot because people, you know, people are always negative in this game. But one card you can't play with in in the, the pack. Oh, cool. So we did get something from the list. But usually you're getting things that are have no value. Half this pack won't get played but we did get some good stuff we'll go straight to the back in uh gyra's emulating inferno super cool legendary sorcery i really like this set that over there a list card got a foil relic robber pathway got some pretty good pretty all right pulls but like when there's a token an art card and an ad card in the booster pack i'm like wizards what are you doing like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that? But yes, my rant about combo decks, you know, I can't hate because, you know, when Birthing Pod was a strategy, I was someone playing that combo deck. But I saw, you know, how salty it made my opponents. I saw what it did to the community. And so I'm happy that Wizards is taking a pretty strong approach i think uro was around way too long everybody knew uro i don't even know why they made uro uro is like another tier of card i'd i have i am completely sold that uro was a mild mistake because <laughs> that card is on a whole nother level uh every format it is in it it makes 
extreme moves like just the fact you have that in your deck and you play it once not twice not three not four you know the amount of times you play that card it doesn't matter you are seeing exponential value that is just outpacing your opponent so yes goodbye Uro. mythic number one morag he's hard to get too actually so i'm very happy to pull this guy nice minotaurs and dwarves i think have gotten a lot of love lately whoa nihilia god of the hunt from the list mythic number two that is a phenomenal pull talking about theros that's funny we got morog we got the elf wizard draga visionary it's a pretty good ability for an elf next pack I'm just doing, oh, gold sign card, beautiful. And this is an expedition. Sweet. I'm just going to be talking about the ban list a little bit longer uh, for these smaller openings and stuff like that. Because there's going to, ultimately there will be a lot of health that will come from this, uh, such large banning. People are like, oh, they banned too many cards. Uh, all my cards are worth nothing now, blah, blah, blah. Well, just think on the, the other side of it. Just think about this. Yes, a, a 15 card list just took a big smattering financially, but the strategies that do come to fruition and stand up to fill those gaps from the decks that lost all that juice, it is gonna make other cards that weren't valuable more valuable. And in general, all the strategies have a fair game in modern right now. Nice. That's a really good pull. Thieving Skydivers. Awesome. But all the strategies in modern right now have an opportunity to step up their game. I feel like there's been a lot of, you know, a lot of clinging to the internet. But there are new strategies out there that are about to take fold. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that this is an opportunity for Infect and Boggles and any of those, like... Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Quick, quick, it's all over strategies. Th those are those are going to have a little uh, little day in the sun right now. Nice, another foil. I love those foil, full arts. This is just my opinion, because Infect is already something that's nasty. And they just took a lot of heat out of, uh, out of the metagame. But, uh... Yeah, don't leave any of the other current strategies out. Elves are going to be hot. Ooh, Mythic number three. Getting the Angel of Destiny. Awesome. Yeah, all the current strategies that have been playing in this wild combo arc, uh, metagame, uh, a lot of other archetypes are going to sing. They're just going to be like, oh, it is my time to shine. Uro is gone. The Cryptic Command loop is gone. Yeah, Uro Piles has been on MTG Goldfish's like top three, I think, for over, I don't know. I don't want to go crazy and say that, but maybe a year, under a year, years, possibly. But yeah, the game is going to flourish. This is a perfect way to have people come back. Oh, Uro the Boogeyman is gone, or oh, combo decks are, have been hit. Oh, like people are going to want to come play now. Cool. Mythics have been... Uh, Pretty nice. Got three. Yeah, three mythics. That's pretty good. This wasn't even a full box. This is just a stack of blisters that I pre-cracked. Yeah. But yeah, that dreaded pack, the three useless card pack that we were talking about. Yeah, a couple of them snuck in. Okay. Uncommons. Sorry, I'm just going slow and ranting. I swear these mythics are just coming in hot. And ancient green warden. Awesome. That's four mythics. Yeah, like, what is this card for? Like, our card in this is two useless cards. What are you doing, wizards? Yeah, and our card. Yay! I don't know if those will ever see value. But yeah, they hit a lot of stuff, especially in Pioneer. I think they just took out a whole strategy in Pioneer because I believe Pioneer has some a tough, uh, tough time keeping uh, a versatile uh, metagame 
with all the different archetypes. I think it's usually like one or two strategies that just dominate uh, Pioneer. And this is all speculation from what I hear other people uh, talk about and describe. All right. Oh, two rares. Nice. This is one of those nice packs. Two rare pack. Got a foil and a Drake token. But not only... Uh, ooh, this might be carp in the list. Sweet. Oh, we got a gold signed version and we got the regular. I think this is Grove of the Burn Willows. How good is my... Yep. Got that. Got the island. Wow. All uncommons. Wow. All uncommons. Wow. Common, common. Oh, okay. There we go. We got a rare. Okay. Got a foil. Beautiful. And we did get a card off the list. I was right. Triplicate Spirits. Another list card. Cool. Looks like we got, yep, four set packs of Zendikar. What uh, what do we got down the line? We got more Commander Legends coming. More Zendikar regular draft boosters coming. Um, oh, might be another list card. We're going to have uh, Kaldheim set and draft boosters for sure coming. Uh, but yeah, lots of openings. This is going to be exciting. And the the new recent bannings got me super stoked to, to deck build. I've got a bunch of Urza strategies brewing um, that I might uh, show off because uh, I think Urza is easily one of the most powerful cards printed uh, in the last couple of years. Like, wow. And I love artifact strategies. Beautiful pack. And we did get something off the list. Wow. Salamander Drake. Linvala, cool. We got a foil. What do I got? I got a bunch of Primeval Titan strategies. A bunch of Liliana, the Veil Rack type strategies. Uh, what else? Not really any combo decks, but uh, Tron decks. A couple Tron decks. Um, in Legacy, I have... I have the Dark Death strategy, which is a super simple deck to throw together. Um, what else? And then I have the Cloud Post strategy. That's that's a fun deck to play. You get, that gets really, really bonkers. Common, common. But yeah, I just can't wait for play to turn back on because during uh, the pandemic, I've been like, like, what would I say? Like fine tuning them. You know, picking up the final pieces to the puzzle. So, yeah. And I hope that, uh, you know, everyone else who's going to stick around for, you know, play, uh, they've done the same. So I bet there's going to be some of the best magic played right after this whole lockdown is over. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. A lot of people just bash on Zendikar, but it offered something that is very new to the game, the modal. The flip cards. It's, that's seriously two cards that are powerful on one body. And value is just sheer value. So this set is going to be uh, something to remember just for that. Just for that that whole premise. Oh, nice. Look at that. Prismatic Vista. Woo! We are good. Got an island. Less, uh, last set pack. Let's hope we get a mythic so we can up our four mythic pull rate up to something higher. Because that would be awesome in the close, coming strong. And really good Blood Chief's Thirst, phenomenal card. They printed some uh, some pretty powerful cards in Zendikar. Black got Enchantment Hate. They created like a, a similar watered down Fatal Push. Like people bash this. The Full Arts came back, Introduce, Introduction to Pathways. It's a great set. Bam! Baby! Oh! All you gotta do is ask. All you gotta do is ask. I said, let's get a mythic in the close, people. And bam, we pull him the king himself. I don't care if he's banned. He is a damn good card. Omnath, locus of creation. So we got some pretty spicy pulls just in that little stack. Wow, they really upped it. We got some cards off the list. Let's see what we got off the list. Looks like we, yeah, we got the we got the full rare 
a rarity gambit. We got a common, an uncommon, a rare, and a mythic. It's pretty interesting. And that wasn't that many packs. That wasn't even a box worth. I would have to say, what, 12 packs? No, that's probably more than 12 packs. 14 packs, something? It was nothing. So this was pretty good pulls. You may cast legendary sorceries only if you control a legendary creature or planeswalker. Gyrus emulating Inferno deals X damage to each of up to three targets. Oh, that's that's wild. Boom, boom, boom. See ya. And I really like this. This is a great card. Other creatures you control have trample. Bam. And uh, I am going to throw together the, the god tribal uh, commander deck. So, everybody, this has been a blast. Uh, the ban list is just wild. I am so happy that they just had to do, they had They had to do it. People can complain. People can't. They wanted the community just to be quiet for a little while so that <laughs> we can all just leave them alone. <laughs> but yeah, everybody, it's it, it's been a pleasure. These cards are going straight into the collection. Very happy that I snagged some some relic robbers and some uh, path uh, and a really nice pathway. The mythic pulls, the list pulls were great. Until next video, everybody, stay safe out there and thank you very much. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We are trying to give you guys stuff. See you later.